Zadrizes bus darīs, kas tev. Hello, coming to you live from North Wales. Uh, Scottish exit. Holy crap! We have potential... Well, we have leaked images, right, from the set of whales, right? They're filming House of the Dragon Season 2. But we have some potential first-ever images of these little-known old little people called Dragon Seeds, right? Now, before we jump the gun, I want to break down who the Dragon Seeds are. Uh, I'm also going to be showing you images of them. So, spoiler alert. Uh, please slap a like on this video. Like goes going to be 420. And also, continue check consider checking out my Patreon. Over on patreon.com slash your hunter reviews. Special shout out to Tyler Schnabel, the North Must Remember, Destiny Phillips, and my girl Brian Johnson. Uh, they are all executive producers of this video. Along that, and thank you for watching. Okay, so if you're unaware, during the Dance of the Dragons, the Targaryen Civil War that wiped out most of the Targaryen dragons and uh, severely diminished um, Targaryen power, right? So, like, Dragons are synonymous with Targaryens, but ever since this war, right, that we read about in Fire and Blood and the World of Ice and Fire and gets referenced in the main Song of Ice and Fire series, Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, A Feast for Crows, and The Dance of Dragons, right, in all those books, Princess and the Queen, The Rogue Prince, um, we have the telling of the, you know, the story of Targaryens uh, having fought each other to death, right? That's what this show, House of the Dragon, is based on. So during the actual war, which most of it takes place in 130 AC. So anybody who's saying they're rushing the events of this, well, you got to realize that everything happens within a year, right? Um, so it's not rushed. It's perfect, in, in my opinion. We haven't even seen it yet, but let's get to it, right? The Blacks versus the Greens. So Rhaenyra's party versus Alicent's party. Right? Remember, they declare Aegon to king, right? So they go to war for that. The Blacks are on Dragonstone, and Targaryens and Valyrians have been on Dragonstone. have had a presence there for a while like we're talking 400 plus years right um not only did the targaryens move there when anar the exile and Danny's the dreamer moved every single targaryen family member there even extended cousins that's the thing that a lot of people miss out it's like it's not just the targaryens that were like in valyria that like had money and wealth no they removed their, they they took their cousins their distant cousins all of them moved to Dragonstone. Dragonstone at the time was a Valyrian outpost that uh, obviously dragon lords would go and visit when they would trade with Westeros or just go on voyages, right? Uh, but for the most part, every single one of these dragon seeds probably descends from like a direct line anyway from Targaryens, right? Because there was two other Valyrian families that came over with them, right? Um, and they aren't necessarily dragon riders. So we obviously have Valarion, House Valarion, Corlys is the main one in that house. They are from Valyria, but they didn't ride dragons, right? Um, you also have the Celtigars, and they are another Valyrian family that didn't ride dragons as well. My whole point is, what I'm saying here is that all of these dragon seeds, they're basically people that are not, they're bastards of House Targaryen, right? Um, they are going to ride dragons. Most of them are most likely descended from Targaryens who were on Dragonstone. Right? So there's a few different ideas. Um, for instance, Hugh the Hammer, who's one of these dragon seeds, supposedly descends from a bastard of Megor the Cruel. Right? There's all these different backstories. I think the show is going to do their own version of it to sort of submit some of these. So first up, right, we have this zoomed out shot of all of the dragon seeds, plus an extra one. Right? Um, what I will say is that... These individuals in this image, um, you know, we don't really have a lot of context to them, but that massive crane mount that is holding the camera, and you see how they're all up on the cliff, that same rig was used when Aemon one Eye was taking Vagar. So I believe, I believe these individuals are looking at a dragon. Right, so I don't know how they're going to do it exactly in the show, but basically in Fire and Blood, Mushroom uh, comes up with the idea of like, why don't we just get more dragon riders, right? So, because like the Blacks are at a war council and, uh, you know, he proposes the idea and then Rainier asks him like, where do you think we're going to get these and that? And then uh, 
Mushroom, the fool, who hasn't really made an appearance on the show, although Brian Condal says he has, but I don't believe he has. He says, wherever you Targaryens have spilled your silver seed, right? So, there's a massive calling for anybody that's got Valyrian features that's descended from Targaryens. And, and in canon, the Targaryens are well aware of who the dragon seeds are because they're treated way better than the other citizens of Dragonstone. They're, they're given money, they're given gifts, they descend from Targaryens, so they're treated a lot better than regular small folk, not just on Dragonstone, but in all of the Seven Kingdoms. So one thing in specific that's really interesting is that this, the people, the fisher folk of Dragonstone would consider it a blessing when Targaryens would impregnate their wives, right? So on the cliff, we have a dude with silver hair, we've got a lady with silver hair, we've got another dude with silver hair, we've got a black woman with regular hair, right? And then we've got behind her a dude with silver hair. Okay, so one thing we gotta realize. I think these individuals are looking at dragons. This is being filmed in Wales. Uh, this is the exact same backdrop that Dragonstone has been used for in House of the Dragon. So I think this is confirmed that this is the dragon seeds, right? But you gotta realize that there's actually several people who try to mount dragons and either die, lose their arm, uh, get burned alive. Like, they're, they're not every single one of these Targaryens is successful, right? Or uh, dragon seeds, rather, is successful. Some of them are even lying about their lineage, so the dragon can tell that, right? But I will say that the woman with the regular hair does sort of fit the book description of nettles. Now these images are really blurry and they're from, you know, with a with a massive lens from far away, so it's kind of hard to make out features, but the guy that's in front of the person that potentially is Nettles looks like this dude Kieran Bew who's been officially announced to be playing a role, not officially announced, but largely suspected that he's going to be playing a role in House of the Dragon season 2. This looks like that's him. Now, just backtracking a bit, Nettles actually captures her dragon sheep stealer by feeding it sheep every day until the dragon goes accustomed to her presence and then she mounts it, right? So jumping back to Hugh Hammer, he's basically the son of a blacksmith who's the most treacherous of all the dragon seeds in my opinion. He's the one who convinces all the white to do what they do in mutiny and go over to the greens but then ultimately die anyway, right? So, um, Hugh the Hammer is the bastard son of a blacksmith. And uh, then we have potentially this person right next to him. Now, I don't know exactly uh, what's going on, but it looks like the person in the very front of the image, the one that's right sort of blocked by the camera mount, that could be Damon, in my opinion, uh, leading the dragon seeds out to go and try to mount a dragon, right? I could be wrong, but it's just a guess. These images are really blurry and they're taken from a lens from a very far distance, right? Um, so... Uh, jumping to the very back, there's this guy who, in my opinion, the way he looks, sort of fits the role of Ulf the White or Ulf the Sot. He's the only one that's got his arms fold, folded, right? So, Ulf the White, um, or Ulf the Sot, or Ulf the Drunken, is this dude who, probably in my, in my opinion, from my knowledge of A Song of Ice and Fire, Ulf the White, or Ulf the Sot, a drunken, is probably got dragon dreams, right? So there's this other dude, Dayron the Dreamer, who during Dunkin' Egg is racked by dragon dreams. He doesn't know how to handle them, and he just drinks all the time. So in my opinion, that's what's going on with Ulf the White. That's why he's Ulf the Sot or Ulf the Sullen, right? He's depressed all the time. He's got dragon dreams. And he's convinced by Hugh Hammer to mutiny against the Blacks after they eventually get these dragons. So Ulf the White is going to mount uh, the... Uh, Excellent, the, the, the best uh, ruler, in my opinion, right, next to Jaehaerys himself, right, Alysanne's dragon, um, the one who refused to go north of the wall, Silverwing. Now, Silverwing's interesting, he's one of the only dragons that actually survives the events, the entire events of the Dance of Dragon, and the last known whereabouts are when uh, Silverwing goes to this little area called Red Lake and just sort of gets forgotten about. And then one of the dragon seeds that is actually successful that mounts a dragon that's not pictured in this image is this dude, uh, Adam of Hall. Now, Alan of Hall, Alan Oakenfist, his brother, was cast by Abu Bakar Salim. So whoever's going to be playing Adam of Hall, who rides Sea Smoke, Lanor's dragon, is going to look similar to Abu Bakar Salim, right? Um, so we have Nettles bonding with Sheep Stealer by feeding it mutton. Right, then we have Hugh Hammer bonding with Vermithor. It doesn't actually mention how Hugh Hammer bonds with Vermithor, but people assume that since Hugh Hammer, um, you know, it's mentioned how all the other dragon riders kind of have to do something, right? Uh, since Hugh Hammer bonds so quickly with Vermithor, a lot of people think that he could be a bastard son of the old king himself, Jaehaerys. And there's two separate moments in Jaehaerys' marriage with Alassan, 
where they sort of separate. And, you know, towards the end of his life, he has Alicent in the books, in canon, constantly being his bed chamber, like being in his bed chamber. And it's mentioned that she's actually promiscuous because she was cheating um, with Viserys before Emma Aaron even died, right? So that's kind of uh, potential, right? And it's just probably not going to be brought up on the show. So if you hammer, uh, Vermithor. Off the white bonds with silver wings. Off the white is uh, off the sot. He's just a man at arms, right? They're gonna make up a backstory for him. We have Adam of Hall. We have Nettles, and then two more, right? Alan does try to uh, mount. I think is it who does not see smoke, but uh, the other one, Grey Ghost, which is a wild dragon on Dragonstone, but he gets rejected, um, and he also. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he tries to mount, which is it's, it's kind of interesting because his brother, like I said, uh, Adam of Hall is able to mount a dragon so easily. Alan tries a few different times. He tries to get on Grey Ghost, and then I think he actually tries to get Sheep Stealer before Nettles claims Sheep Stealer. Um, so that's really interesting. And then we have uh, one more named uh, bastard uh, or dragon seed or whatever, but he is... Um, Gets, he gets killed by a cannibal. So we may see cannibal uh, and Silver Dennis. And I think Silver Dennis could be the one who's in the front. Remember I mentioned that uh, that might be Damon showing them all? No, that could be Silver Dennis. And the reason why Silver Dennis would lead the pack is because in canon, in Fire and Blood, Silver Dennis says he's a bastard son of Megor the Cruel and he can prove his lineage. And he's like, let me go mount a big badass dragon. So he chooses cannibal. Cannibal rips his arm off, right? And then feasts on his corpse. So, that's probably who that is in the front. So, we got Silver Dennis, um, Ulf the White in the back, in my opinion. And I think Hugh Hammer has a companion with him. Because I think maybe uh, that woman in the middle, maybe that... She's just so much closer to who I think is Kieran Bue, Hugh, Hugh Hammer, that I think they're kind of together companions. Um, uh, so, yeah, this will be interesting. This will be really interesting. That could potentially be Marilda of Hall. Marilda of Hall has to be a dragon seed because we know the Valarions um, don't ride dragons. Maybe they could be going with Marilda of Hall being a dragon seed, and that's why, uh, you know, Corliss Valarion's bastards with a non-Targaryen are able to have kids is because maybe Marilda of Hall is a Targaryen herself. Although, going by the uh, complexion of Adam and Alan, I don't think that's the case. Uh, this was really exciting. I'm so glad we got these images. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'm going to get get the heck out of here. Once again, super special shout out to Tyler Schnabel, The North Must Remember, Destiny Phillips, and Brianne Johnson. They are all executive producers of this video over on patreon.com slash your reviews. And thank you for watching. Like goals going to be 420. I don't know.